Welcome to 100 Yards, Yards of Football today. Today I got out my college football history. I'm highlighting Michigan versus Iowa, October 19th, 1985. So if you like the video this morning, please come in and share it. I'm your host, Vincent Turner. Boy, boy, boy. 1985 was a special year in college football. And what you had was you had a guy that was making noise down at the University of Auburn. Bo Jackson, who's the preseason Heisman Trophy favorite. And Auburn came in ranked as the top 10, number one team in the country. Then you had SMU who came in at number two with Reggie DuPont. Then at number three, you had, excuse me, at number one, let me back up. Number one, you had the University of Oklahoma and Brian Bosworth. Little, little excited this morning, so please excuse me. At number two, you had Auburn and Bo Jackson. Then at number three, you had SMU and Reggie DuPont. Then at number four, you had the Iowa Hawkeyes and Chuck Long. At number five, you had Neil Anderson and the Florida Gators. At number six, you had the mighty USC Trojans. They had a great offensive guard named Jeff Briegel. Then at number seven, you had the surprise Maryland Turpins, Stan Gilbard, the quarterback. Then at number eight, Ohio State, Chris Carter. We know how special football player he was. Then at number nine, you had Nebraska. He had a running back named Doug the Bolstead led him. And then at number 10, it was the BYU Cougars under Robbie Bosco. That's what 1985 said. But on this day, in midseason, you had the number one rank, Iowa Hawkeyes taking on the number two ranked Michigan Wolverines. It was the largest crowd to see a football game in Iowa City that day. 66,370 wild fans. But what was so great about this football game, the state of Iowa was in a turmoil. They was really struggling from a financial standpoint with the farmers, trying to get money through the government. And this team right here on the Hayden Fry gave them a sense of pride. And that day, all the nation was watching this football game. The Hawkeyes came in the game, had a great quarterback who finished running up the Bo Jackson, the highs from the truck long. They had a running back that was special, through a threat guy named Ronnie Harmon. Then they had another guy that made so many tackles that day, Mr. Larry Station. Then, of course, Michigan, they had Jamie Morris at the running back position, but they had Jim Harbaugh at the quarterback. The game really... Howard dominated the football game. They ran 84 plays that game. The Michigan 41, but they could not get into the end zone. So Rod Hotland kicked four field goals that day. And the thing that was so, so amazing about that game, Howard, as I just told you, they ran 84 plays that game, but they outgained Michigan 422 yards to 182. Chuck Long had 297 yards passed, and Ronnie Harmon had 132 yards. But under that great, great Michigan Wolverines team, they did not break any that I've been. Jim Harbaugh had over 100 yards passing, but the key to that game for Michigan going ahead in that game with that touchdown was Jamie Morris had a 58-yard run, and it set up Michigan's only touchdown. But when you look at great teams, Great players. It came down to 522 left in the fourth quarter. And Iowa went on a drive. I'm kind of getting my parameter set. I want to say they went on that 85-yard drive. I believe the drive was 13 plays. And they took it down to the inside the Michigan 10-yard line. And Rob Hotland kicked the winning field goal. And the place went crazy. It was something like out of a movie. Stars falling out of the sky. Rainbows falling out of the sky. Hayden Fry, the Texan, who had came from North Texas, they had took a team from the heartlands to number one in the country, and he had made a statement. And you know what? That was the day the University of Iowa brand was built as one of the top football teams in the country. Now we ran the script in 2021. That's why the Iowa Hawkeyes have a special football team, and that's why they ranked in the top 10. 
had started that day. When the ruler rings on the, I mean, excuse me, when the Hawkeyes on the national stage beat the Michigan Wolverines 12 to 10. Well, Iowa didn't really finish the chapter in the book. They lost to Ohio State later on in the year 22 to 13. Then they lost to the Rose Bowl game to UCLA 45 to 28. But that football team is always going to hold dear to my heart because they had some special characters. Chuck Long ended up going and becoming the first round pick of the Detroit Lions. Kudos. To me, he was one of the finest quarterbacks that played college football. Ronnie Harmon went on to a great career with the San Diego Chargers. And Hayden Fry went on in the sunset as one of the best coaches that coached on this level in college football. So to that day, October 19th, 1985, all I can say is kudos to the University of Iowa. And it was all the way live, as the great band Lakeside says. It's all the way live. It was live that day in Iowa City. So if you like the video today, please come in and share it. I'm your host, Vincent Turner. And I'd like to say kudos to my producer who made it happen this morning, Mr. Logan Landers. Thank you, man, for making me look good today here on 100 Yards Football. Y'all enjoy the rest of the week. And to the Iowa Hawkeye Nation, this way it started in 1985, October 19th. And that's why y'all got one of the best football teams in the country right now, rated in the top 10. And you know what? I'm going to bank my money that y'all going to win the Big Ten this year. That's right. I'm saying the Hawkeyes are going to beat Ohio State. And when it's all said and done, they're going to represent the Big Ten in the college football playoffs. Have a blessed day. And thank you here on 100 Yards of Football.